So Enrique, please step forward. So Enrique, it's, it's very interesting. So his background is from physics. So he has a PhD in physics, right. and he's from the International um, Center. International Center on Theoretical Physics from Trieste, right? That's right. Yeah. So yeah. from Italy, Trieste. So yeah, we're very much looking forward to this. So especially it's interesting because he's also looking into open source software in the context of stereoscopic visualization. So that's very interesting as he has this interdisciplinary background, obviously. Yeah, and so thanks a lot, a lot for coming here and to, it's oh, your stage here. Yeah. No so microphone. You can, you can. Oh, I'll use this one. Yeah. Okay, hello, good morning. Very nice to be in this uh, meeting. The, it is our f uh, first meeting on um, on stereoscopic displays and applications, um, coming from uh, Italy, in Trieste, north of Italy. I was born in Chile, I'm a physicist. And uh, like I mentioned um, before, um, I'm presenting a, a library uh, written in C++, which is, we call it morph, morpholo, morpholo, which is uh, morphing hologram, so a hologram generating algorithm. So I work, like I mentioned, in, in a scientific fabrication lab uh, within the International Center for Theoretical Physics in Italy. Our particular research is in interest are in education field of physics uh, at all levels, uh, starting from uh, schools to uh, master, PhD, and research afterwards. So uh, we believe in 3D visions, displays, because uh, it presents huge potential application for STEAM science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, for example, uh, we would like to go from microscopies, conformational phenomena, I mean, to visualize and understand phenomena at the very tiny level, microscopic level, to uh, astro -stereo photography, uh, passing through, for example, uh, real-time 3D streaming of physical experiment demonstrations done through the internet. Okay, so you get a better perfection, uh, a better idea of, of the phenomena by looking in more degree of freedom. This is what we are trying to do, actually. We started this work about one year ago, so we are pretty new and apologize if I'm missing something, some details, or if we have missed some previous work. So there are some constraints, of course. Uh, we, we know, you know better than me, that uh, all these 3D vision displays cause motion sickness and uh, limit the use of time. So we, we are trying to avoid the use of glasses or any headset. So we want to have a natural exposure to the 3D phenomena, natural phenomena. It's very hard work and difficult. You have been trying for many, many years. I'm not saying that we succeed, but we're trying. Of course, our budget is very tiny. We need to reduce the number of uh, high HD cameras being used, the views, uh, especially not because of the money, because, especially because we're dealing with a, a small physical space available, okay, at the microscopic level. Or, on the other hand, on, on the large, you, you may need uh, to have large number of spacecraft if you want to get a reasonable 3D as a scene of the cosmic dust of the galaxies. And that, of course, is impossible. So we are in the streams of the natures, okay? Small scale and huge scale. Uh, motivated, uh, our work was motivated by previous studies on animating beautiful historical stereograms. You can see it on the internet by using morphing technologies, algorithm. So we, we are attempted to reconstruct reality in sim, similar simple terms. So we start with uh, a simple stereo webcam, two images, left and right, and interpolate these uh, two images by optical flow imaging warp to control the cross dissolving between the pair of stereo images. In this picture, you can see we go from the left to the right, uh, snapshot by created by morphing many in, in, in between pictures. Uh, the beauty that all these sequential frames put together in some sort of animated GIF or um, video MP4 can give already an acceptable illusion of deep and parallax in the, only on the horizontal directions. 
We tried uh, many different morphine algorithms, which are available on the internet. Uh, view morphine, which is very limited for our case because we want to do everything automatically. Uh, in this case, you need to, to, to identify some key points, for example, in the cube there, in order to uh, create a multi-view or image to be displayed on an lenticular uh, uh, 3D display. We try also optical flow, which is the, by analyzing the vector field uh, to describe the mov mov movement between the two images. And of course, the most standard disparity map or deep map was also analyzed. So uh, there are limits for this process of morphing for a stere a stereo animation as compared with the use of deep map. Uh, with the use of Morphit, we cannot prov provide a complete information on very distant regions, uh, only along the set, 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 set plane. Uh, Morphin mainly extrapolates the parallax encode in the images by combining Im information from nearby pixels only, everything what happened around a pixel. So it is essentially a purely local method. Still, uh, it leads to a good, good. It leads to good results for a stero, a stereogram morphed into multi-view 3D displays, like I will show you in a moment. To carry on with our uh, initial stereos stereoscopic pictures, we use uh, low-cost ELP webcams. This means 50 uh, euros or so, with no distortion dual lens. Um, we use uh, Linux Ubuntu, the latest release, last year release, and standard notebook uh, net, um, PCs. In this case, we have only an uh, intercore i5. And of course, you will get better and fast results with more uh, powerful computers. We are using eight, from 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM, and the standard resolution for such uh, NVIDIA uh, graphic cards. So the beauty of, uh, let's say, the usefulness of this compact uh, LLP webcam is that the two uh, cameras' video frames are, taken, are synchronized and taken simultaneously. It's just one single uh, video stream. You get the left and right images. So what we, we do next, we cut them and separate the two different views, okay? You can follow the morphine also by using mirrors, standard mirrors, like uh, this there. Uh, so. uh, two mirrors, four mirrors, or just created uh, your own stereoscopic uh, webcam, like we did uh, by using uh, two single uh, modular uh, webcam. Uh, we print the framework in with a 3D printer. So we developed the, this fast C++ library to produce automatically 3D, multi-view 3D images from such low-cost stereo webcams uh, without user interve interventions. Okay, we are too busy to, to stay behind the computer, so. Our algorithm, in short, retrieve the images created by the dual stereo camera automatically evaluate the correlation between left and right images, okay, by using deep flow algorithm and create the uh, in-between images through morphing, and, in, and produce the intermediate light field views which output the holograph, holographic displays in uh, monitors that are lenticular and slanted. These are monitors that are available in the internet the cost can range from $450 uh, dollars to uh, uh, $10,000, depends on the resolution. We are using the little ones looking glass holoplay device that you may know already. So uh, the processing steps are a bit complicated because you need to get uh, per device calibration uh, data, input data from the holoplay for the monitor. You need to uh, establish the correlation between left and right uh, images to create automatically the intermediate views, to create a quilt that contain all the, the views in, in, in a quilt form, 
and then finally create the native multi-view images that uh, will be displayed in your monitor. So this, is, this process is very time uh, consuming and it requires considerable, considerable calculation power. The native image, the final one, is, it has a resolution of 2,560 times 1,600 pixels with three color, channel, color channels. So, uh, in essence, these procedures, like a hollow place calibration, correlations, view, intermediate view, quick creation, native uh, generation, uh, became computational, expensive, and difficult to apply an application for real time streaming in 3D. If you are dealing with the static images, take a picture, left, right, and create all these processes, that's not a problem. You can do it in a few uh, minutes. But in the case you want to do uh, 3D streaming, in real time, the this, this situation changed. So to speed up this process, what we did uh, with my, my colleague Livio Tense in Trieste was to, to reduce the runtime computation by creating some time of lookup tables, which are very standard in, in Linux uh, uh, algorithm. So uh, in this case, uh, we do the conversion by a set of state. We create, we uh, uh, analyze the quilt geometry to be used, let's say 45 views, 30, 32 views. We identify, give as an input the size of the image, image that we're going to use for the quilt, for example, or for the uh, small brick that conform the quilt. And uh, consider in this uh, lookup table the calibration data of the monitor, which are very de manufacturer dependent. dependent. So uh, with all this input, we create some uh, matrix with the position of all the sub-pixels and create a binary file that we will keep it in, in memory to be reused and reused many times. So we don't need to recalculate everything again for every set of uh, a pair of stereoscopic images. So like I mentioned, uh, and time is running short, <laughs> uh, this lookup table is created only once at the beginning of the mapping process, going from the quilt, from, going from the monitor, creating the quilt, and displaying the um, image in the holoplay. So uh, we allocate this matrix uh, using uh, some kind of uh, RAM memory, and, and the element of the matrix are done in integers represented in 16 bits. So you will see in the, on the slides that will be published, I guess, uh, all details, and, and our paper too, uh, how this process is, is being done without the need of recalculating everything every time, and how we uh, create the native image for, a, for the dynamic display. Okay, there are equations present in doing these processes. Uh, this had been running for more than 10 years for the use of 3D TV set. Okay, so this one's, uh, they, they were derived by Cis van Berkeley uh, and Berkett. So we create this, our multi-view following the, the standard process, okay? Here you have all the steps needed. The set in the left, uh, uh, you, you have the setup as a, a stage, calibration file, quilt geometry, rows and columns, and the size of the image, create the lookup table, map the files in, into a binary file. Then we take the left and right images, the acquisition from the webcams, uh, create the morphing, uh, create the, uh, inter uh, derive the intermediate views from the morphing process, create the quilts, apply our uh, lookup tables with all this calibration input, create the nat native image for holoplate, and then repeat the process again without touching again the monitor, okay? So uh, this library is for free. You can download the um, uh, Debian file from morpholo.it. It includes many features. You can create uh, the quilt by giving you, your set of uh, left and right image, which can be historical. You can uh, create um, a, the quilt from two different parallel or convergent camera webcam, like I mentioned recently. 
generate the native image from a set of uh, stores viewers, so I can go and take photos by myself of an object, put it in a director, and then create the native image using our Morpholo uh, library. Okay, uh, you can play with all many, many variables. Uh, it took us one year to write this uh, and test this uh, library. Okay, at the end, there is a chapter also, uh, and it's possible, feasible, to uh, take a pre-recorder st stereoscopic video and to stream it through this library, okay? Because uh, you are taking, is, uh, at every frame, the two uh, set of pictures and created the multi-views, okay? Using the morphing processing. It takes time, it goes step by step, it's not continuous, of course. However, um, you can uh, evaluate the processing time for all this uh, as a creation, generation of images. There is an option within the library. And you can also uh, do uh, plug in the stereo webcam into your Linux computer and do 3D, uh, 3D real-time video streaming. Uh, we did a little uh, benchmarking, just to give you an idea of the time needed and why it's working, actually, and how it's working. So in, in this plot, you have the total process time against the number of views uh, being created. For example, for in the case of this flow with a computer, a standard computer PC with 14 gigabytes of RAM, you get more or less uh, about 0.3 seconds for uh, creating uh, a frame of 10 number of view. This means that essentially in one second you may have um, at least uh, uh, eight frames per second that uh, allow you to create a video, yeah, okay. So uh, we have uh, finally implemented to conclude uh, these uh, lookup tables that allows to accelerate the computational need cost uh, time needed uh, this potential has many applications uh, uh, of this method for especially live 3D streaming. By using two webcams, you can you do it, apply it in medicine. Example, you can see a nice video uh, in, in YouTube that uh, we, did, we put it in a few weeks ago only. Just look for a streaming of 3D video via Morpholo. And we were lucky to be, we just published, and we were lucky to be in the cover of this magazine. So. Uh, let me show because the time is short. Okay. Can you start? Okay, this is the streaming 3D video in, in, in real time. I'm holding the stereo webcam with the other hand. And of course, you can see at the deep with two eyes, not just with one webcam, like in YouTube. So this is the, the stereoscopic webcam that uh, we constructed. It's a, a toe-in of five uh, degrees. And we're using eight frames per second. Of course, with a better computer, this will be faster and more realistic. Okay, then I put the webcam under, under the table and you can see the table in front of you, okay? This is my home, so that's it. Thank you very much.